Hi everyone, today we're talking about the native daisies of Australia. Did you know there are around a thousand different species of these beautiful flowers? In this video, you're going to learn about some of the most stunning and unique varieties you might want to add to your garden. And be sure to stick around until the end as I've saved my favourite for last. Also, if you're interested in native plants, we've included links to some of our most popular articles on this topic in the comments section below. First up, let's talk about the Brachyscom angustifolia, found in open forests across Victoria, New South Wales, South Australia and Tasmania. This low-growing plant, reaching up to 30 centimetres in height, flaunts pink or mauve flowers. It's versatile too, thriving in full sun or semi-shade. Next, we have the Brachyscum formosa, known as the Peliger daisy, primarily found in central west New South Wales. This species displays lovely pink flowers around 2 cm wide, mainly blooming in spring and summer. It's a plant that spreads easily, making it a great addition to your garden. Brachyscum multifida is a hardy ground cover that produces purple, white or pink flowers about 2 cm across. It's a resilient plant growing well in full sun or partial shade and can even tolerate heavy clay soil. Most people will be familiar with Chrysocephalum apiculatum, commonly called yellow buttons. This widespread species forms a shrub up to 0.3 metres tall and 1.5 metres wide, with clusters of bright yellow flowers approximately 1.5 centimetres in diameter. It adapts well to various local conditions. The beautiful Chrysocephalum baxteri is mainly found in southern New South Wales, Victoria and South Australia. Known as white everlasting or fringed everlasting, it showcases white bracts and bright yellow centres on flowers ranging from 2 to 4 centimetres in diameter. Next up, Ixodia achilleoides. This species is known for its clusters of white flowers on tall stems, perfect as dried flowers. What's unique about this daisy is its preference for dry summer climates because it struggles with high humidity. Before we move on, I have one big favour to ask of you. If you're finding this video helpful, please hit the like and subscribe buttons. It will only take a second and is the best way to support us. OK, back to the video. Moving on to Laurentella rosea. This beauty is adorned with rosy pink flowers and bright yellow centres, each flower reaching up to 4 cm in diameter. It's a great choice for gardeners in drier climates, loving a sunny spot to show off its stunning colours. Leucocrisum albicans is found along the east coast of Australia, as well as in Tasmania. It's known for its variety, with subspecies that flaunt either white or yellow bracts and yellow to orange centres. Most of these subspecies flower during spring and summer, adding a vibrant touch to your garden. Introducing the Oliaria ciliata, commonly known as the fringed daisy bush. Found in southern Australia, particularly in areas with sandy soils, this small shrub grows about 0.3 metres tall. Its flowers are a delightful shade of mauve or purple, each about 2.5 centimetres in diameter. As an added bonus, it's quite drought tolerant and can handle moderate frosts. Now let's look at the Rodenthe chlorocephala, native to southern West Australia and parts of South Australia. This species boasts large, stunning flowers that can be up to 6 cm in diameter, featuring pink or white bracts and pale green centres. Xerocresum subondulatum is a pretty orange-yellow daisy found in the alpine regions of Victoria, New South Wales and Tasmania. Growing up to 30 cm in height and spreading up to 1 metre, this frost-tolerant species blooms from late spring to autumn, bringing a splash of colour to colder climates. Our final daisy for today is the Xerocrisum viscosum, commonly known as the yellow paper daisy or sticky everlasting. It's found west of the Great Dividing Range in Victoria and New South Wales. This species is a delight to grow, with its bright yellow to orange scented flowers appearing from late winter to spring. Remember to let us know in the comments which native daisy species are your favourites. Also, if you have any growing in your garden, we'd love to hear any tips you have. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos on native plants and gardening in Australia. We'll see you in the next video. 